strong uh, proponent of protecting America's clean waters, as evidenced in her testimony before our committee was the Honorable Kristen Jacobs, Commissioner of Broward County, Florida. Kristen, thank you for being here with us. Well, the thanks goes to you, Congressman Oberstar, um, for bringing forth this bill again. I like to think of you almost as the $6 million man. For those who remember or are old enough to remember that show, uh, they said we can rebuild him, we can make it better, and so they did. And that's the way I look at this bill. This bill has been redone, and uh, those issues that we had that raised concerns were addressed. And those issues that um, folks still have problems with, as you rightly said earlier, I think they're going to continue to have those because they never supported the Clean Water Act in the first place. Thanks also go to Representative Dingle and Ehlers for your great support of this bill as well. Um, when its last iteration came out, almost the entire Florida delegation was in line to support it. I have no doubt that their support won't be there this time as well. Um, I am a county commissioner in Broward County, Florida. I've been on the county commission for 12 years. Hard to believe it's gone by so fast. Um, I'm now running for my very last term. So when I leave, I'll have been there for, for quite some time shaping policy in Broward County, particularly for the environment. Um, for those of you that don't know Broward County, I invite you after the meeting to take a look at this wonderful map over here. Broward County is the second largest county in the state of Florida with 1.8 million people, but we are the 14th largest county in the United States. And look how small geographically our footprint is. That's Broward, right there. Little, tiny county. 1.8 million people who live there and 10 million visitors a year come to Broward County. Most people think that Broward County is all about our beach. They may think that the best place in the country to go diving is in fact in Monroe County, the county to our south in the Keys. But in fact, Broward County's diving much rivals the Keys. And I would invite you to be one of our 10 million visitors to come check it out. Water in the state of Florida and in Broward County in particular is of a huge issue, not just for the economic reasons that draw 10 million visitors there a year, but also because it is the very source of our life. It is where plants, animals, and people uh, live. It's what we need to get through a day. In Broward County, all of our water comes from underground supplies, the Biscayne Aquifer, which is within inches of the soil to the first 100 feet. We have 1,800 linear miles of canals in that little county. And when we talk about water quality in our county, what every person does on their property, whether it be their house, their school, or their business, it all rolls off into a canal somewhere and it finds its way either being back pumped into the Everglades or finding its way to the near shore environment um, and affecting us there. The Everglades is two thirds of Broward County's size. So when you look at this little picture of Broward County or this, this line for Broward County, the actual um, uh, area where residents live is only one third of that box. So when I say we have a tiny, tight urban footprint and we know about water issues, we truly do, particularly when it comes to clean water, Broward County for all of those canals only have five water bodies that are on the impaired waters bodies list of the United States. Really clean water in our county. We have worked long and hard to measure water uh, in such a way and those pollutants entering it to, con to continue to keep it clean. And we look at the Clean Water Act as the cornerstone of being able to continue as a county and to push our state to keep clean water at the very top of our agenda. Um, when, when I started down the path for elected office and started talking about clean water issues, there were a lot of people in our state, and particularly our county, that saw so much water and didn't really think that it was an issue that needed much protection. As the years have gone by, we have seen that there are a great deal of people out there who would like to see the protections in our waters um, and, our, and our land go away. They benefit from it. They profit financially from it. They don't look much beyond the profit line of this year or next year. They certainly don't look out to the future of children yet unborn and what they're going to be left with, what the legacy is. When I think of the 12 years I've had as a county commissioner in government, I think one thing is my biggest role of all, and that is to leave the place better than I found it. That is our role in government. That's what I think the Clean Water Act meant to do. It's what these changes that Congressman Oberstar's bill are putting forth will do as well. Um, I think that there are lots of fear mongers out there, and it's very profitable to do that, to say that the federal government wants to expand its reach. Nothing is further from the truth, and this bill does not expand the reach. What it does expand, in my opinion, is peace of mind. It tells me, as a mother of three and a grandmother of two, that we 
can count on clean water going into the future, that my children, our grandchildren going forward are going to have the kind of quality of life that I had growing up. It's something that I think we owe to everyone who is either here now or yet to come. It's time for us to tell the polluters out there that their day is over. We are going to move forward with this bill. We are going to support it. We are going to, in essence, be the folks that have your back. We are going to be your team to help move this legislation through the United States. And it's my pleasure to be part of the press conference today to talk about it, to advocate it for it. And um, I'm your foot soldier, Congressman. Whatever it is you need us to do down in Broward County, we have issued resolutions in support of your prior bill, and we will do so again with this act. And I thank you for having me here today. Thank you very much. You're welcome.